So obviously, um, iPhones here at the Apple Store has have this cord on it. Try to do something. If I just shake. Now my phone is with the cord, and I got Apple's phone. What's going on guys, my name is Alex Pandrea and welcome to Queen Amy. Queen Amy is one of my favorite phone effects ever. It is something you will carry around with you every single day because well, you already carry a phone with you. It's one of the easiest tricks that you'll ever learn and there's so many different routines that you can do with this effect, the possibilities are truly endless. So you're probably asking, what is Queen Amy? Queen Amy is an effect where you have the lock screen on your phone change from one image to another. That's it, it's that simple. The wallpaper on your lock screen changes and you can do anything from simple ideas like making a playing card change to crazy mind reading effects to even doing insane transpose with the spectator's phone. We included a bunch of routines in here and ways for you to customize your own routines as well. The first routine is a simple color change of a card. You show one card as your prediction, place it on the spectator's hands or on the table or just shake it and the card changes from one to the other. Super visual and we show you a few ways to do this routine. You don't even have to touch the phone to do this effect. We have included everything that you need. Another card routine that's one of my favorites that I've been doing is the princess card trick. Now traditionally the princess card trick was done by showing five cards and then one of them would vanish. In this version you show five cards on your wallpaper, you ask the spectator to memorize one of them. Give them the phone to hold face up or place it on the table just for a second and then when you snap your fingers and look down at the phone, their card has vanished from the wallpaper and it appears in one of your pockets. We've also included a really cool card force where you show a bunch of cards on the wallpaper but there's only one specific one that they can see. When you show the other spectators, there's a whole bunch of cards because the image changes. So you're forcing that one card and then you can go into any routine from there. Speaking of mind reading and messing with people's minds, there's a very cool routine where you show a blurry word that they can't read on the wallpaper. With just a wave, that word becomes visible and now they can read it. So it's perfect for making somebody not be able to read or taking away their sense of sight or even just forcing a word. So if you're into mentalism, you'll love this ESP effect. You show one spectator your wallpaper with a bunch of ESP symbols on there and then you turn the phone to the rest of the audience showing them the wallpaper and tell them that you're gonna make that first spectator forget one of the ESP symbols. And sure enough, when you ask the first person to name all the symbols, they will indeed forget the one that you made them forget. And these are just a few routines that are included with the explanation with this comes with everything you need to perform. But I think the true value lies in the customization of this effect. You can literally do anything with this effect. Once you know how to build it yourself, you'll be making your own effects and coming up with ideas right away. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Queen Amy. How are you? Yeah. Very good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit weird. Now, I made a prediction. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna show you it just yet. Mm -hmm. First, you're gonna take one of these cards. So, I need one finger. Just like that. Yeah, touch the back of one card. Just touch. Yep. Take it out. And you show the camera, but don't show me. Okay, very important. Okay. Good? You yes. happy? I'm happy. In general? I'm super happy. Very good. And happy with the card as well, right? Mm hmm. Good. So, look, if I do this now, I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's somewhere in the center. I have a prediction, and I put it on my phone. And I think seven. seven of hearts. Did we get it? No. No. Okay. Uh, not the seven of hearts. All right. Let me let me try something. Look, if I do this, yeah, I was gonna predict the seven of hearts. Oh my god. But look, tell me what your card was. What was it? Queen of spades. Queen of spades. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, but wait, if the card changes here, that means my prediction now should have changed. Take a look. Turn it over. I'm searching. Oh my god, how you can do that? Oh my god. Weird. I love it. <laughs> 
Okay, so I want to talk about Queen Amy with you guys for a second. What you saw was kind of like the trailer of everything, but I want to take you through uh, each of the effects one by one and sort of talk you through it. Now, one thing that I do want to point out that I think is super important, and because we are on a public platform here, I do not want anybody commenting down below on possible methods or how they think it's done. This is really not the place for it. So if you do enjoy this, go ahead, pick it up from thebluecrown.com. That would mean a lot to me. It supports me. I've been working on this effect for a long time, and with the help of my good friend Bo Creamer, we came up with these routines so we did put a lot of work into it but also respect the fact that we don't want a bunch of methods in the comments that just ruins the fun for everybody and trust me even if you think you know the method yes the method is simple and maybe you know maybe you know half of it but trust me we put a lot of work into every single little detail so you're gonna want the full explanation so you know the ins and outs and it comes with everything needed to start right away now let's talk about some of the effects that you can do with it now the first one is the most simple one the most straightforward one is a color change of a, of a card when you think to do an effect you always think the first thing is a card change a card revelation um, and even though it's not the best to do and it's not as powerful as some of the other ones that you can do I certainly think it has merit if you do it right now there's a bunch of different ways to do this simple one card change one idea is literally to force a card show the wallpaper and as your prediction and say oh I got it wrong and then change it okay without doing much there's an effect right there another thing that you can do is do a transpo let's say you show the seven as your prediction on the wallpaper uh, place it down face down in the spectator's hand or on the table then you show the queen in the one hand use a double lift or top change or any switch to change the queen to a seven and then when you turn over the phone the queen is now in the phone so a transpo took place so one of the effects i like on here is the princess card trick now if you don't know the princess card trick do go look it up it's a very powerful effect but the only problem is it lacks an ending in many cases you show the five cards one of them disappears your card disappears um, so what I've added to this and you'll see in the explanation is that you get to pull out the card produce it from one of your pockets okay this is a very interesting one depending on how you present it so the idea is you make somebody not be able to read a word or uh, have them lose their sense of sight basically what we include is a way to show a blurry word that you cannot read and then while shaking or while asking the spectator this is cool to blink their eyes really fast the change happens and it's very interesting it looks so good it fools you when you do it in front of your face I think one of the coolest things is the one that I did at the Apple store um, where it's a transpo of two phones now this I did to a few people, fool them and fool them really hard um, by a very sneaky way of doing this and I teach it in the video where you take a spectator's phone, you take your phone, um, ideally they have to be the same phone, same model phone, and literally they switch places from across the room, from in between your hands, from putting it in your pocket and having his in his pocket and they switch places. Very cool. And if you take the time to do this right, this could be one of the strongest things you do with this principle. I did it in the Apple store where I took their phone and my phone, switched places, and I think that fooled a lot of people, even the people that were watching in the Apple store watching me film. It was pretty nuts. I also think the dual reality concept is interesting. We have one spectator on one side, the other spectator, or a bunch of spectators on the other on, on the other side. And basically what happens is what you show one spectator is different than what you show the others. Now you use this to your advantage by having them see something that the others don't, right? So think about what you can do with that. Well, you can force an object that's not there. Um, in the instance of the ESP symbol, they'll forget one of them that's there because the spectator sees five and this one only sees four. Uh, with the card force they see the only one card that's there but then when you show the rest of the spectators a whole bunch of cards are there so you can force a card very easily basically anything that you want one spectator to see that you don't want the others to see you can do it. instant stooging is a great example so I do appreciate you watching this video, taking the time and interest in my work. Um, I've put so many things online for free for you guys here. Uh, and this is something that I've worked a lot on, so I am putting it for sale. It's only 15 bucks right now on thebluecrown.com for the holidays. So this will be available to purchase on thebluecrown.com on Black Friday 2018. So if you're watching this and it is past Black Friday, well, you can go ahead, check the link below and purchase it right away. And besides all of that, I just want to say thank you once again uh, from myself from Bo and uh, just thank you for your constant support so we will see you very soon on the next video peace